get the microphone turned on and say good morning, everybody. Here we are. This is pattern number 11 of the top 20 patterns for beginners included in the fly tying dubbin fly tying kit. Anyways, uh, we, this is a continuation of the top 20 pattern video series uh, for this kit. I recently got these kits out to all my participants at, uh, through my local Project Healing Waters program and uh, they should be tying along with these at their uh, leisure. So we just wanted to get these videos out for them so they can go through the book, go through the box of material, and uh, tie some flies at their uh, convenience. Anyways, this is the TP's Little Nymph Thing. It looks like a productive little pattern. Anyways, for this we're going to need our size 12 wet nymph hook. We're going to be looking for that brown ADOT Vivas thread. For the tail we're going to be using a Hungarian partridge feather. The overbody is a peacock curl. Ribbing is that copper wire. The body and thorax are both going to be a uh, hair's mask. And the wing case is going to be some more of that peacock curl. So let's go ahead and slide over to the bench and see what it's like to tie one or two of these. How about it? All right, so once again, we are using the size 14 wet nymph hook. Let's go ahead and secure one of those into our vise. How about that? Looks good to me. All right, we have our a dot, 8 o. what do you know? And we're gonna start off by laying a little thread base. I'm gonna start an eye's length behind the eye. Eye, eye. And we'll trim off our tag end. All right, let's continue our thread wraps towards the bend. Be mindful of that tip of that hook where we're going to tie in our tail feather. And for our tail feather, we are going to use this Hungarian partridge. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of the junk off the bottom. Go ahead and just strip that all away. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the tip. We're going to find that center quill and just give that a little nip off. Just like that. Make a little V, a little notch. Right, let's take this feather, compress that all down. That's probably a little bit too much. If you find your tail is just a little bit too big, too bushy, let's go ahead and just strip some of those marks off. All right, so our length that we're looking for is about a half a hook's length. And measure that out. Do one soft wrap to capture that. And we'll take some locking wraps working that thread forward. And we're going to take that right about to that halfway point. That looks good. Let's go ahead and trim off our excess. Where at this point we can Head towards the back as we tie in our medium copper wire. A couple of soft wraps and we're going to wrap this in on the side all the way to that furthest most rear point. Be mindful around that tip of that hook. Remember that will break your thread quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, also at this point, we are going to tie in our outer body, our back, and we're gonna use some peacock curl. We're gonna go, I don't know, three, four strands or so. Strands. 
tie this in by the tips, tips forward. One soft wrap to capture. Do a couple more locking wraps. We're gonna oh, gotta tighten down the vise. All right, we are looking good. Now we're going to dub our body, and for our body, we're going to use some of that hair's mask. And what we're looking for is uh, the under fur. We don't want any kind of long guard here, so I'm going to find myself a nice little spot towards towards the base where we can get a nice light colored tuft of hair. Alright, so any of these longer hairs, we'll just go ahead and pull those out. Fluff that out as we put it on. Less is more when it comes to dubbing. And as we pinch, we're pinching. It's a one-way pinch. Compress that onto the thread. Once we start dubbing, we're going to make a small, slender, tapered body. We're going to go just past the halfway point. That looks pretty good. Alright, at this point we can take our peacock, let's fold that forward. We're going to take a couple of wraps. Alright, just beyond that halfway point. Now let's go ahead and take our ribbing. We'll wrap that forward and I like to just come at it with some counter wrap. I'm going to do one full wrap at the rear. And then we're going to capture that peacock curl. You're not going to get a ton of wraps. Secure our wire. And give that a close, close and clean trim. Alright, the peacock curl that's facing forward. We're going to want to fold that back now. Wrap on top of it just a little bit. We're going to come in with a little bit more dubbing, and we want this to include some of that spiky uh, guard hairs. Remember for this, we just put it right on our palm, and we can just kind of mix it up just like that. Alright, this is going to be our uh, thorax. This is going to be kind of, we want some little hairs sticking out of this after we're all done. Right back there. Work your way forward to just behind the eye of the hook. Okay, we'll pull that peacock curl forward, up and over. Locking wraps to the rear. A couple of wraps in front. We'll park it right on top. Trim off the excess peacock curl 
any of these fibers we got facing forward let's just go ahead and just take a quick second push those all back we want them in there we want it to look a little buggy buggy little nymph small head up front and then we'll finish with a whip finish one two three just like that too easy go ahead and trim off our thread and we can take our bodkin and pick out this thorax if need be I think that's fantastic so that is nope oh, gotta add our little dab of head cement a little insurance policy up front if you're doing these nymphs right, they should be uh, hanging out towards the bottom of the water column, bouncing off the rocks and such. So a little dab of this water-based head cement right in there on that thread. And let it soak right in. So that is TP's little nymph thing. How about that? Pretty good. So good, I think we should try it again. Uh -oh. Looks like I spilt a little bit of that head cement. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just set this sample off to the side. And we'll tie another one. How about that? Take two. All right, once again. Size 14, wet nymph hook. From the kit, what I like about this kit is everything is right there. Super easy, super uh, simple. Thread, we're gonna use that uh, brown eight ot. Eight is great. Go ahead and start our thread at an eye's length behind the eye. Eye, eye. We'll start our thread towards the rear. Take a quick pause for the cause. And bazinga. Continue our thread wraps towards the rear. All right, we're gonna pick out our partridge feather. I already had this one out from an earlier spot. What we gotta do is gonna trim out those uh, the inner innermost. Just like that. Make a little V. Just a little notch, because we don't need them all. Let's go ahead and tie this in about a about a half a hook's length. And usually how these end up for me when I tie this in. I have it on basically the bottom side of the hook is up it's just so the tail has just a slight curve up to it. We'll wrap that in about halfway. Take a pause there, trim that off, and we'll grab that medium copper way off. Tie this in on the near side of the hook. A couple of turns, flatten it out, and we'll wrap that all the way towards the rear. Excellent. Set that off to the side. And we need our peacock curl. Three to four strands. And I'm gonna take two strands take my two strands and break them in half I'm actually only using two individual peacock curls but I'm using two times two for the four okay we'll tie this in make sure you park it on top 
crackleback, if you will. There is a there's a crackleback. But this is TP's little thing, right? All right, let's get our dubbing ready. And again, for this, we're trying to use that finer, that finer uh, dub. We're not not trying to use the the long guard hairs. Let's go ahead and take a little piece. And right there. And we'll strip all the fuzz out of that. Dubbing noodle. Remember, less is more, more or less. And some tight. Okay, we'll work our dubbing towards the rear. I think we might have a little bit too much on. A nice tight little body. Yep, we got a little bit too much. We're gonna just pinch that off and pluck that off. Maybe just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and fold that peacock curl forward. our ribbing forward. I'm going to do one full turn at the rear. Looks like this body came out just a little bit shorter than that first one, but that'll be all right. One, two. We'll still get our three turns over there. And we'll walk our wire down up front. At this point, we take that peacock curl. It's facing forward. We'll just take it and say, hey, let's uh, take a look back here. And we're keeping it on top. Don't let it roll off to the side. Excellent. All right. We're going to find some more dubbing. And when this time, we're looking for some stuff with the spiky, spiky guard hairs. Palm of your hand, just kind of mix it around. Looking good. All right, same as before, we're just gonna just start our dubbing noodle. Pinch and twist, pinch and twist. Build our thorax up. We'll park our thread just behind the eye of the hook. Fold that wing case forward. Our wraps to the rear, wrap or two in front, and we'll just trim off our excess. Super simple. Anything up front, fold it back. We'll build our small head. And a whip finish. Just like that. Got ourselves a little teepee's little nymph thing. Questions, comments, concerns. Be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Again, this was number 11 out of the video series. 
top 20 patterns, we're going to add ourselves a little dab of that cement. I'm going to go front. It soaks right in there because it's extra thirsty. It wants, it wants the head cement. Peacock curl is on top. That's a nice little nymph. TP's little nymph thing. Maybe it should be a little thang with a little bit of twang. Alrighty, well. We're going to leave it at that. TP's little nymph thing. That was a fun little pattern to tie. Up next, here we go. We're getting a little bit bigger now. We're talking to my style. Up next will be the Bucktail Streamer. It's very similar to the old Mickey Finn. But yeah, this was number 11. Up next will be number 12. So... Thank you for tuning in. If you've tuned in live or watching this as they're coming out, if you're watching this sometime in the future, thanks for tuning in. Leave me that thumbs up button or click that thumbs up button. It looks just like this. Like this video. Hit that subscribe. Share. And uh, yeah, soon this is a, will be all done and we'll have a full playlist of the top 20 fly patterns for beginners. All right. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Happy tying, and yeah, sure you betcha. Tight lines, peace.